Your Twitter stream printed on toilet paper, pay your friends back with a fist bump, and YouTube star Lamar Wilson of Wilson Tech One tells us what went wrong with his whole Android experiment today on App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Audible. Welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile app news and reviews, and also where we judge applications. <laughs> I'm David Prager. And I'm Mauricio Bavanera. It's a nice way to change it up a little bit. Application is short for app and long for app. So, Prager, how do, you, how do you read your tweets? What do you think is the best method of reading tweets? I use, uh, I use a tweet bot because I don't like the Twitter application okay. very much on the iPhone, sure. uh, or iOS, that is. Sure. And, and then I, uh, I use a client, the Twitter desktop client, on my uh, laptop computer. OK. What about toilet paper? Uh, I sometimes <laughs> read tweets while sitting on the toilet. TMI. I, hmm. TMI. Well, I'm sure you guys have heard about this. This is kind of really popular right now, uh -huh. the, uh, the, the Shitter application. Mm -hmm. Not a web, it's a web app, actually, but uh, we figure we all read our tweets on our phone. This is kind of an interesting little product, uh, I think. I think it's, uh, well, it's gimmicky. I think it's fun to laugh. Ha ha, that's a funny idea. OK, on yeah, to the next thing. It is For a me, funny anyway. idea. But uh, uh, I think more importantly, like, well, so you pay 30 bucks, right? It's and they will $30 print, for a roll. And they, and they will print a tweet stream on toilet paper, yeah. which might be two ply or might be scratch ply. Um, to be fair, I think you get four rolls for those thirty-four yeah. bucks, but it's still thirty-four bucks for a roll of toilet paper with with outdated. I tweets. think the best use is you create a tweet stream of propaganda that you okay. are supportive of. That's good. And you take this out and you TP people with the propaganda. <laughs> That's what I would do. So it's not for the bathroom. It's more of a. Uh, um, if you're going to TP someone's place, why not spread a message? It'd be an expensive little TP. Well, you know. It's that or don't sell any of the product. <laughs> <laughs> you have a few options with this. You can actually either print out your own tweets, um, your, your timeline, your favorites. You have a few options with your own personal ones. Or you can print out um, someone else's tweets, which I guess could be interesting. Yeah, if you're a big yeah. fan of Kanye West and think it's funny. <laughs> you're onto something out, here. You know? You're onto something. I think bathroom reading is better done not on toilet paper. <laughs> but propaganda, I actually like that idea. It's a good idea. You know? It's an expensive idea. As but long as you can print, print on eggs as well, but then if you smash the egg at the house, it All doesn't right. work as well. All right, a little bit more useful of an app, maybe, depending on who you talk to here, because mm -hmm. uh, you're not too big of a fan of this thing. Bump. You remember Bump? This uh -huh. is the, the contact thing where you can sort of literally do a fist bump and you send your, your contact to the other person. Uh -huh. um, they've actually partnered up with PayPal, and now you can bump uh, I don't even know payment. if they partnered up with PayPal. I think they just might have used an API. You're, you're right. It could be just a pulling from their API. So um, I, I'm a fan of being able to send payments easily, pay people for products, services, whatever. Yeah. Um, I, we, like, we I like Venmo a yeah. lot. Every time um, we go to lunch, we, we, we more often than not, one person pays the bill, everyone else Venmo's yeah. uh, everyone else. I don't have a problem with Bump Pay, which basically I launch Bump and I basically shake the phone. And as it's the proximity to someone else's phone that has the app, it'll process whatever amount, dollar amount you put in right. via PayPal. I just think that it's why there's no real need to do the Bump thing and be with the person. Well, I, I just... argue that every time I've used Venmo, I've been there in person with, with whoever I need to pay back. So it, it's no issue to, to do that but, bump. And more people have PayPal accounts than they do Venmo or Square or whatever. Yeah. Square is going to charge you a surcharge for but for I would But I would rather, uh, aside from the, the surcharge that might or might not exist based on different payment services and how they right. work, I mean, I would rather, I know people that you know, pay rent to their roommate yeah. using Venmo or PayPal, but why do you need to be standing next to them and tell them to launch Bump just so you can do it? Well, OK. How did I sign up for Venmo? Do you, do you remember how this happened? Probably because I sent you money, and you had to sign up for an account <laughs> you, to get you it. You forced me to go get my $20 yeah. by signing up for Venmo. I, you, if someone, if someone <laughs> says, hey, I've got a bunch of money, and I deposit it into a bank account, go to the bank branch and tell them your name. You'll go to the bank branch and tell them your name if it's enough money. No, but they're not going to force me to open up an account with them to get the money. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, find a payment service that doesn't require some kind of online payment holdings uh, service. You're, you're absolutely right. My, I guess my argument um, is that PayPal is a little more widespread. You know, we've all used eBay at some mm -hmm. point in our lives. Um, they're not going to charge you. They actually say, and they fre frequently ask questions, that if you have an existing uh, checking account linked to your PayPal or have a balance, they're not going to charge you for any transfers with, with Bump. 
Um, so it's, I mean, it's free. They're just I don't offering have a you huge a problem with it. I'd just rather send money via PayPal without having to launch the Bump app and do this bump action. But it's so much funner. It's so much cooler. Yeah. All so right. It's okay. Agree to disagree. All righty then. But I still, you know, <laughs> good, good, good conversation. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, uh, all right. We actually have a, a YouTube star, Lamar Wilson, coming up next. But first, let's thank our sponsor. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 100,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded to your iPod or your iPhone and Android device and played back anytime, anywhere. You can choose from books in every genre, science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, mm. and the Hunger Games mm. genre as well. Yes. <laughs> and so it's outrageously popular. The movie right. just made $150 million. You're, you're but a guess huge what? fan of it. You don't have to spend money at the movie theater. No. You can get the entire story That's narrated right. to you in your ear. The, uh, the, by book, the book is always better, right? That's the rule. Mm -hmm. I say the audio book is always better. Because then you get a little more an inflection about not losing any of the actual written dialogue. Right. Um, and uh, you can get a free book uh, by going to audiblepodcast.com slash appjudgment and sign up. And you can download a free audiobook of your choice. Yeah. As Marisa mentioned earlier, thousands of books thousands. in dozens of genres. Again, audiblepodcast.com slash appjudgment for your free audiobook. So you want to get a tablet, do you? Stop it. You don't have to stop it. Well, actually, this unique category was reinvented and renewed by the iPad and has really changed the course of personal computing. Not even our parents are asking about tablets. And it's not the kind they got to pop in their mouth three times a day. Last time we spoke to this YouTube star, he had just switched to Android on the new Galaxy, the then new Galaxy Nexus. And uh, now he's a little older, a little wiser, still funny. And more importantly, he's part of the Revision 3 family now. Lamar Wilson of Wilson Tech One. How you doing, man? And I'm doing great. I'm glad to be finally part of this. This is awesome. Yes, yes. I was talking to my brother the other day, and he's like, that Wilson guy, he's funny. <laughs> I like that guy. <laughs> well, you know, now, now I like your brother. All right, good, awesome. <laughs> so, so like I said, last time we talked, you had just switched over to Android, and I had two sort of around the same time. The Galaxy Nexus had just come out, Ice Cream Sandwich, Raw, Gung Ho About It. Something went awry with your little yeah. experiment. What happened, man? Yeah, I was doing this challenge and trying to make it work. I put my iPhone to the side, and what started ha happening immediately was I started getting constant reboots. Now, it didn't matter, matter whether the phone was sitting down on my desk and I saw it reboot, yeah. or whether I was on a call and it rebooted. It would just happen randomly at weird times. And, you know, another thing is uh, force closes. Now, I have one quick example. I was out with a friend, and we, I couldn't find my car. We, we got we got out of the restaurant late at night. It's like, where's my car? So uh -huh. I'm going on a phone trying to, <laughs> trying to do search, trying to do Google navigation, see what street we on. The phone kept force closing for 10 straight minutes. It drove me nuts. And that wasn't the only time, but it's like, it was just a culmination of that, the battery life being really poor and just, and just not, not working as a phone. Right. Just really got me to like, you know what? Challenge over. I'm, I'm going back to, uh, the iPhone. It's I like the phone is beautiful. You know that the, I, the phone. I, I'm it's still a beautiful. It, yeah, it's a beautiful device. I love the screen. I love the the weight and everything. There's no knock on the hardware, but they still don't have that software right, and that's that really disappointed me because I wanted this to work. Yeah. So so it sounds like for the most part you're having issues. Correct me if I'm wrong. It sounded like these were all uh, OS issues. What about <laughs> the software itself? Were, were you were you relatively happy with with the apps that you were you were using? Um, yeah, for the most part, you know, if once you use iOS and then you use Android, I think maybe you can agree, you do see a difference in smoothness. The, the apps on iOS are just smoother. I don't know if it's because of the code, yeah. but they just work a little bit better, whether it's Twitter or whether it's some games. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so things worked, but it was like, you know, they, they tend to work a little bit better on iOS and it, you know, that's unfortunate. I hope they kind of clean that up one day. I totally agree. And I think the way I see it, um, I'm, still, I'm still using the Android. I'm still trying to hold on to this experiment. I want to give it this, its fair shake. But the way I, I kind of see it is um, iOS does very, very few things, but it does it well 100% of the time. Yeah. Android does lots of things, lots of awesome, awesome things, but they may work 90% of the time. 90% is still good, but the, it's that 10% that makes you go, ah, you yeah. know, especially if it's at the wrong time, if you're out late at night looking for your car or trying to get home or something like that. that that's what I've experienced so far. I don't know if that you've, you kind of feel the same way about it. 
Yeah, absolutely. Google tends to ship and then fix later. And, you know, that, that's, I think that's kind of their philosophy just to get it out there. Yeah. And I admire that they're a big enough company to kind of get away with it. But, you know, I try to approach this not as a geek, but as an average consumer. And the average consumer would go crazy with this. Yeah. And a lot, and a lot of them are. I, I did a poll on my, on my video when I asked my audience about this. A lot of them were having these problems, but they were so stubborn with them. They said, yeah, we're having these problems. It force closes. It reboots. But I'm I'm sticking with Android because I don't like iOS, so I don't like BlackBerry. So people acknowledge that these things exist. It's not just in my head. Yeah. Although other other weird things happen in my head, it wasn't it it wasn't this. It's it's a lot easier to be stubborn after you've you've dished out four hundred dollars for this device just a couple months ago. Absolutely. <laughs> I, Absolutely. I swear that's the way I feel about it. <laughs> All right. So you're back to iOS. You know, you get you give an Android a fair shake, but you're back to iOS. Lamar, what are your favorite apps right now? What are you rocking? Dude, you know what? I, I'm loving going back to the reminders. I know that sounds like that's kind of generic. Why? <laughs> why not a game? Why reminders? But they just work so well. They're so simple. It's embedded. I can have a reminder to when I get home, remind me to to take out the garbage or something silly like that. And yeah. as I'm pulling into my garage, what happens? It pops up on my phone and lets me know because it's the GPS. So yeah, the, the, the geolocation service is awesome. Yeah, man. yeah. So I'm actually like getting a lot more done. And uh, because of the this one app, and it's it's weird how one little small thing it kind of change your world, and yeah. I really feel that that one app has really done it for me. It is it is such a basic application, and it's made by Apple. Mm -hmm. It's not like if, if your favorite app is not a third party app. It's actually a embedded yeah. iOS Apple product. Well, yeah. that's awesome. I'm, yeah, I'm a boring person. I just love reminders. That's it. Lamar, you're not, you're not boring at all. Uh, people, check out Lamar's channel. Uh, Lamar, uh, you're, you're Wilson Tech One on YouTube. Can, you want to you wanna pimp out the URL there? Oh, yeah. So it's YouTube.com slash Wilson Tech One. You know, the world's funniest tech reporter. Come check me out. That's what I do. Awesome. All right. You are now my sworn enemy as an iOS user. <laughs> I'm still loving the Android. Um, I'm sticking to it for the time being. I commend you. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stubborn. I'm sorry. I'm stubborn. All right, man. I hope you come back on the show. You're always awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, let us know what you think. I know this is going to be it's going to be a touchy subject for a lot of you Android users. Um, hit us up on the Twitter. Send us your flame wars on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube, and uh, probably not on Crosswalk if you're an Android user because that's iOS only. But check us out on Crosswalk nonetheless. All right, guys. We'll see you soon.